Welcome to the floor of my guest bedroom. This has been my video studio for the last little while now, and the other room in my house that's supposed to be a guest bedroom is my home office. So, I have zero guest bedrooms in my house, which is an issue considering the prospect that my girlfriend's going to move in eventually. I can't be hogging all the rooms. So, I am working to combine my home office and video studio into an all-in-one workstation in this room, and I want to take you along the journey with me to build an all-American home office. Let's go. All right, so first up are these paper shades from Ready Shade. These are made in the USA. You can pick them up at Home Depot or Lowe's. I just needed something super quick and cheap to stick in front of these windows to block a little bit of the extra light when I'm filming. All right, next up is this workbench from Burroughs. These guys are based in Kalamazoo, Michigan. I've had this adjustable height workbench for a couple of years now. It's one of my favorite pieces. It's gonna stick around for a really long time, but this is where I do a lot of my filming and product shots and things like that. All right, if you've been around the channel for a bit, you know these acoustic panels are from Second Skin Audio, a local company here in Charlotte, North Carolina that I really love, but they help with a lot of the sound proofing of the video studio and new home office setup. I also already have this curtain from American Custom Drapes. This was one I just had laying around in the closet, but I just needed something to basically just cover up uh, this closet space here. It's a little big for the area, but I think we'll do the job in the home office and is honestly not going to be in any of my shots or video calls or things like that. And then the curtain rod is from a company called Kenny, which is also made in the USA. If you want American custom drapes, talk to Jeremy. He's super awesome and they have a lot of different style options. All right, I'm gonna go and move a few more things over from my home office and then we're gonna go out and find some cool stuff for this space. These are my grandma's pub chairs. I have six of them around the house. Just good old sturdy American made furniture. I don't know if y'all can see it super well, but this wooden chest is made by a local woodworker in my hometown in North Carolina, but I'm gonna put it on this wall underneath my dry erase board. By the way, this is a really cool collaborative art project that my amazing friend Shay thought up that we did at my girlfriend's 30th birthday party, but she is a super talented local artist. Shay is, I have a couple of her paintings out in my hallway as well, but I'm gonna move this into my new guest bedroom. This rug comes from Southwestern Rugs Depot. I found them on Etsy. You can also buy direct from their site. They have a ton of awesome designs and everything is made in the USA. A few of y'all have probably seen this backdrop in some of my older videos. But I'm gonna move this to the new combined office and video studio. This is a wooden American flag that my buddy's son made in their garage. And then up here is a bat from Three Brothers Bats, which are handmade in Wisconsin. So I'm at an antique shop in town looking for a couple of things to fill out the home office. One is a desk lamp. So we're gonna see if we can find something cool. Hand carved moose lamp? Jen found this industrial lamp. Say hi, Jen. Hi. This thing is super cool. All right, so we got that desk lamp earlier today. I just had a package come in. I ordered a couple of tray organizers from Ernst Manufacturing. Apologies for the crappy video quality, but these are pretty great. I'm gonna be using them for cable management, batteries, things like that. All right, so the next thing that we need to get is an adjustable shelf for my Burroughs workbench. It's a tight space in here, so I wanna make sure that I'm utilizing every square inch of it for storage space and just making sure that I'm decreasing clutter and maximizing the space. All right, here's what that adjustable shelf looks like. Fits in nicely underneath the workbench, and so I'll use this for my printer and a bunch of other stuff for storage. All right, moving right along. So I've been using this Burroughs workbench for doing all of my filming and product shoots and everything like that over the years. But since I moved in to this combined home office and video studio space, it's just a little bit bulky to be able to find the right spot 
to either roll it out or keep it there for doing all of my filming in addition to just normal work and other activities. So I've been putting this in the corner and then I have a new custom piece of furniture that I made that I am putting underneath the American flag in the corner, which I'll show you here in a second. And it's flexible so that I can pull it out into the middle of the room and attach a tabletop to it for filming. It's pretty cool, so let's check it out. So here it is sitting as a shelf in the corner. You can see it's got three nice shelves on the back end. I can put pretty much whatever I want on these guys. And then it's got a panel on the front that'll face the camera and it's on casters so I can roll it out into the middle of the room. And here it is all assembled. We got the tabletop on top of the shelf there that gives me a little bit more surface area to work with when I'm, I'm doing videos. And then just a little paneling on the front and the shelf is on the back. All right, so we got a few more things to tackle before we finish this home office setup. And first up is my desk. So currently I have the Burroughs workbench in here. I got my new custom piece of furniture for doing all of my filming. And then I also have a desk in here for my laptop, monitor, and other things like that to do normal work. Right now it's a secondhand piece, but I have my eye on a couple of American made brands that I am really excited about and hopefully can get a new desk once I have the budget for it. The one that I'm really eyeing right now is by a company called Artifox. Everything that they produce is made in the US. They have a beautiful minimalist walnut desk that I think would look great in my space. It's a little bit expensive, so like I said, I'm gonna save up for it and hopefully can fit it into the budget this year, but that's definitely a piece that I wanna pick up for the home office. If you're into whiteboards for your home office, there's a few good options. So Optima Great White Whiteboards is one good one. Magic Boards is also made in the USA. And then Iceberg Enterprises also makes some whiteboards that are produced domestically. All right, let's address the elephant in the room and that is technology. So you can't really have a home office video without addressing stuff like laptops, monitors, keyboards, and things like that. I've gotten a lot of questions from readers and viewers over the years that basically boils down to, is the all-American PC possible? And unfortunately, the answer is no. Although there are still some PCs that are built in the US, it's pretty much impossible to find any PCs that are 100% made in the US from all US sourced components. And that's pretty much true for most complex electronics. And unfortunately, according to experts, that's probably not going to change in the future. Printed circuit board manufacturing is a pretty low margin business. And so the Asian ecosystem with a lot of low cost labor and large factory infrastructure that is needed in order to support the industry is really the only ecosystem that is actually going to be able to make that feasible. But you can still get something that's assembled in the US. So I have my eye on a few brands that I'll probably pick up once it's time for me to get a new laptop. MacBook Pros are built in the US if you're more of an Apple products person and like the iOS system. And then in terms of PCs, there's a few good options. They're pretty much all in the gaming PC category. The first brand is Origin PC. They have some really good options that are assembled in the US. And then the other two are Falcon Northwest. They're based in Oregon and doing a lot of their assembly there. And then the other one is Digital Storm. So they have some good gaming laptops too that are built here. I'm not a huge gamer, but those gaming laptops do come with a lot of storage space and really good performance. So they're really good for a lot of other type of work too. And then in terms of other technology, I also have an external monitor that I use in my work setup. I currently have a Dell. They're based in Round Rock, Texas. Unfortunately, they're doing pretty much all of their manufacturing overseas. But again, there's not really any good American assembled options when it comes to external monitors. So that's really just the one that I chose to go with because they are a US based company. And then in terms of a keyboard, there's actually a couple of good American assembled options. The one that I'm looking at is from a company called Unicomp based in Kentucky. This one's a really mechanical keyboard, so it has a nice big clack when you are typing on it, which is really satisfying for somebody like me. But if you like a really quiet keyboard, it's probably not the best option for you. But I'll put a link to them and a couple other good American assembled options in the description below. Alrighty y'all, that's it for this one on the All American Home Office. Make sure to stick with us on this journey. This is obviously just the first room of a lot of different renovations. I will keep y'all updated as I get new pieces for this home office as well. Make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American made. See y'all next time.